Hi everyone. Let's do an amusing poem today. And this poem is excellent for elocutions. So if you have an elocution contest coming up, do consider using this poem. I will read and explain the poem to you. I also have the meanings of some of the words that might be new to you on each slide. And once we have gone through the entire poem, I will also recite it for you. So if you have considered using this poem for an elocution contest, you can go through that part of the poem where I recite it for you so that you can learn how to recite it. So without much ado, let's begin. This is the name of the poem. Be glad your nose is on your face. An exciting name, isn't it? This poem was written by Jack Prilutsky. That's how you pronounce his name. Jack Prilutsky. Be glad your nose is on your face. Be glad your nose is on your face, not pasted on some other place. For if it were where it is not, you might dislike your nose a lot. So you need to be happy that your nose is where it is, that is, on your face. You need to be glad that it is not anywhere else on your body, because if it was somewhere else, you would not have liked your nose. And we are going to tell you why. Imagine if your precious nose was sandwiched in between your toes. That clearly would not be a treat, for you'd be forced to smell your feet. You can see in the picture there. Now imagine if your nose was placed there between your toes. Precious, valuable. So imagine if your valuable nose was placed between your toes, sandwiched like a sandwich. You know what a sandwich is. You have something in between two slices of bread. So if your nose was placed like that between your toes, it would not be a nice thing. Why? Because then you would be smelling your feet all the time. Your nose would be a source of dread. It would be something that caused you fear were it attached atop your head. It would be a source of dread or something that caused you fear if it were on top of your head. It soon would drive you to despair. It would make you feel hopeless and helpless. Why? Because it would be tickled by your hair. Imagine your nose on top of your head with your hair surrounding it. The hair would tickle your nose and you would be sneezing all the time. Within your ear, your nose would be an absolute catastrophe. Imagine if your nose were placed inside your ear, like in the picture. That would be a completely bad event, a horrible thing to happen. For when you were obliged to sneeze, your brain would rattle from the breeze. Every time you felt like sneezing, every time you sneezed, your brain would start shaking because of the breeze that came from the sneeze. Your nose instead, through thick and thin, remains between your eyes and chin. No matter what happens, your nose does not move from where it is. It stays there between your eyes and chin, not pasted on some other place. It never goes anywhere else. And that you should be very grateful for. Be glad your nose is on your face. And Jack Prolatsky has given us so many reasons why we need to be grateful that our nose is on our face and not anywhere else. And now, as I said earlier, I'm going back and I will say the entire poem to you as you would need to say it if you were in an elocution contest without any pauses. Are you ready? Be glad your nose is on your face by Jack Prilatsky. Be glad your nose is on your face, not 
pasted on some other place. For if it were where it is not, you might dislike your nose a lot. Imagine if your precious nose was sandwiched in between your toes. That clearly would not be a treat, for you'd be forced to smell your feet. Your nose would be a source of dread were it attached atop your head. It soon would drive you to despair, forever tickled by your hair. Within your ear, your nose would be an absolute catastrophe. For when you were obliged to sneeze, your brain would rattle from the breeze. Your nose instead, through thick and thin, remains between your eyes and chin, not pasted on some other place. Be glad your nose is on your face. Thank you. And now how about a little exercise? Would you like to be something like Jack Prilatsky? Let's try this nose poem together. So here I have a poem and I have some words missing from it. Let's see if you can fill in the blanks with the right words. Once my nose decided to be wild, independent, and I was shocked when it spoke to and danced about in, then finally settled on my arm and promised not to do me. Though trembling, I stayed and began to use my until it went back to my face and saved me from. So have you found the answers? Let's see. Once my nose decided to be wild, independent and. My answer is free. You can have any answer, anything you want. I'm just helping you by giving you my answers. I was shocked when it spoke to. Now, this word needs to rhyme with the previous word you used. In my case, I used free, so it should be something rhyming with free. And what I chose is me. And danced about in. This needs to rhyme with me. So, glee. Then finally settled on my arm and promised not to do me. Harm, because harm rhymes with arm. And now you have to find another word that rhymes with harm. Though trembling, I stayed calm and began to use my, which word would rhyme with calm? Charm, until it went back to my face and saved me from. Now this word would have to rhyme with face. What do you think it should be? Disgrace. I hope you enjoyed this whole exercise, including this last part. We'll meet again very soon. And until we do, do take care of yourselves. Bye for now.